Okay, this is all spilled GE hot point. Holy but goody. They don't make them like this anymore. That's real porcelain. Can you imagine that? Anyway, uh, so we've got a bad seal. We're not going to take it apart. We're just going to drill a hole in here. Put some stop leak and some gear oil in it. Fill the hole back up. Basically, the drip in the main seal has caused the belt to burn out. So we're going to have to take the motor off, put a new belt on, clean it up, and put it back together. And so that's, that's what I do to fix these things when they start getting old like this. I mean, you could have put a new seal in the, in, the, in the thing, but as opposed to an hour labor plus parts, um, as opposed to drilling a hole and putting the gear oil in it, you know, this is a stop leak. It will stop it for a while um, and last quite a lot longer than normal. So, you know, you weigh the benefits, you know, if you want, if you have a love affair with the machine, then, you know, you do the whole nine yards. But this is the so quick, easy the belt. Fix. It's pretty well toasted. There. Got the motor out. Gonna clean this pulley. Make sure that pulley's nice and clean there. Clean this pulley up in here. You can see it all right, inside there. Clean all that pretty good. Got wear a new belt here. Put that on. This is a little tricky, but uh, you can uh, figure that out pretty easily. Okay, so we've got our hole drilled. I drilled a little hole, filled it up. It's got about three quarters of a quart of that mixture of the 90 weight and the engine block sealer. Got the pulley cleaned up. Got this pulley fairly clean. Now we're putting it back together. I put that, I took that hose out to get to that hole. I'm probably going to fill that hole up with uh, either a nut or um, silicone, a nut and some silicone, and or some hot glue. Okay, it's working. So, when you move these things, you got to be really careful because there's like this donut on the, uh, on the bottom of the tub. That's uh, it's kind of a cushion between the motor, uh, the uh, transmission, and the uh, uh, the basket barrel kind of thing. It's like a rubber donut. So when you lay it down, you've got to be really careful. And then you want to test it to make sure it's not going to leak because that rubber donut thing on the bottom. I've done a video on it before. Basically, if you look under here and yeah, way down in there, and then and then up, you'll see the rubber donut that goes around the bottom here and in order to reseat that you basically have to remove the basket and it's kind of a tedious process particularly if the bolts are kind of rusted in there but anyway thanks for watching talk to you later